Before we begin, want to learn more about Power BI and Fabric? Visit prag.works slash Manuel40 to get a 40% discount on one of our annual learning subscriptions to over 100 courses. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Manuel Cantana, training manager here at Pragmatic Works. And I'm here to bring you a new exciting YouTube series that I'm going to be going through. And it's going to be called the DP600 Questions Unlock. Naturally, in this first video, just a little intro around what this is going to be focused on and what we're going to be doing. And of course, I guess if you don't know what the DP600 is, it is the official Microsoft certification so that you can become a Fabric Analytics Engineer Associate, right? Isn't that a fancy fun title for you to have? The idea behind this is they're going to be quick, fast videos that just really go into the various aspects of the DP600. We'll kind of look at some sample questions, go through an example of it so that you can get a better understanding of what the true answer is to that question. So generally, we'll start with a question. We'll go through a scenario that mimics that question, and then hopefully that'll help you answer the question. So we're not going to just go question, answer, question, answer. We have some resources that are great for that. And that's really what I'm going to focus on here before we get into like the official format of what these DP 600 questions unlock uh, kind of series is going to be. So this one just kind of to show you and remind you what the DP 600 is, what options you have at your disposal. I'm going to be really focusing on one in particular that I'm pretty proud of that myself and the rest of the Pragmatic Works team is a part of, but I'm gonna make sure that you're fully aware of everything so that you know and can have everything at your fingertips to pass this, this exam, to get certified within Fabric, right? And just in case, remember, as of right now, DP600 is the one exam, but there's various types of exams that could come up later. I think they're already working on another DP exam for Fabric, but this one is gonna be that first kind of initial one so you can get that associate engineer. So what options do we have? Now, of course, there are a bunch of third-party things out there. We're not gonna focus on that. We're just gonna think about what's official and available. And of course, what we offer here at Pragmatic Works, which I think you're gonna find pretty darn enticing. So the first option we're gonna go across that you'll find if you just type in the DP600, which we're gonna do at the very end of this real quick, you'll find the Microsoft Learn page. Type in DP600, there's quite a few links in there. And as part of that, there actually is like a little course you can take. As you can see, it has, you know, kind of top level bubbles. You kind of go in, there's some sub bubbles within there. And in total, like for instance, the introduction to end-to-end -end analytics using Microsoft Fabric is at 22 minutes and there are six modules. And at the end of it, there usually is a little knowledge check. These are relatively simple, straightforward questions, but this is a good place to kind of get started if you really have no idea and at all with what the heck Fabric is. Of course, we have some YouTube videos, we have some training, definitely check it out. But that's a pretty good starting spot if you want to get to some sort of base foundation. Now, stepping it up a notch, there is an official Microsoft practice examination that you can be taking. These questions are a bit more in line with what you will actually experience inside the certification exam itself. So these are a bit more involved and you can see just right quick, just a sample question in front of you. Some of that terminology just might be foreign, just not make any sense because maybe you're new to it. That's why I introduced Microsoft Learn first. The idea is you kind of move through all of that content and then you can consider going into the practice exam. If you've been working with Fabric or have a Power BI background, you possibly could just move into the space of just trying the, uh, the practice exam to see where you're getting things right and wrong. That might kind of guide you into where you might needing to focus. And then along the same line, we have, of course, our Pragmatic Works on-demand learning platform. If you're here on YouTube watching us, you're probably familiar already with our Pragmatic Works uh, on-demand learning. And as part of this, we do have something known as Cert XP, which you may already be familiar with, in which we have various certifications, the DP600 included, of course, in which we do curate questions based off of our experience and our exposure to Fabric, our knowledge and understanding for it, to really line you up with just over 100 questions in there in the bank itself. You kind of move through this process where you get this question, you get answers, and each of our questions comes with a fully uh, voiced by us, myself and other members of the team itself, kind of demonstrating the answers as to the why, right? Did you get it right? Did you get it wrong? And the reasoning behind that correct answer. So you do get a good quick understanding of it, right? Now, of course, the rest of our on-demand learning platform is meant to support this. So you will find on various different questions, links to some of our content inside our actual on-demand learning to kind of further and go deeper into that learning process. But that's the best thing right there. We kind of took that knowledge and understanding. We kind of understood what Microsoft Learn offers. We know there's that practice exam. We ourselves, of course, are certified. We have taken this DP600, so we're familiar with that structure. So we wanted to create a nice little platform where you could go in and have a fun experience as you move through this process. I'll show you this as well so you can see what I mean. It's a really cool thing, kind of keeping track of your progress, making forward. It's a really cool thing. 
So as you can see, these are going to be the primary options that you have when we talk about the preparation. There's more kind of third party things out there. We're not going to go down that realm. With this, I am fully confident that you're going to be able to pass that DP600. So what exactly are the contents? If you're unfamiliar with that exam itself, of course, all around fabric, you can see it's really divided into four primary sections. You can find this when you go to that main Microsoft Learn location. It breaks it down. I've included some of the sub elements within it right here. First part of the exam, plan, implement, and manage a solution for data analytics. This comprising roughly 10 to 15% of the questions. Once again, if you're unfamiliar, if you haven't taken a Microsoft cert, there's a bank of questions that are available. And when you take the test, you're going to have a certain bank of those questions that are allocated for you. And they're going to be put in a, in a kind of randomized order to a degree within the respective sections themselves. But the questions you're going to have won't be the same as what I'm going to have. And that's why we have gone ahead as far as cert XP goes it's created a bank of a lot of questions so you can be exposed to all the potential things. I can tell you, for instance, my examination experience was very different from my counterpart, Austin's, when he took his DB600. There is a lot of different things. Fabric is a large, uh, a very large topic to discuss. So the first one, plan, implement, and manage a solution for data analytics. Prepare and serve data, 40 to 45%. A lot of these first early videos I'm going to do in this series will probably be around this area, talking about things like data pipelines, uh, data flows Gen 2, notebooks, and those items such as that. Of course, lake houses, delta tables such as that. But this is a large piece of the test right here. We also have 20-25% of it is going to be implement and manage semantic models. The beautiful thing is we've known, if you've done anything with Power BI, you've known semantic models. So this is really nice. It's just kind of adding some additional elements which comes into play when we take fabric into consideration and lastly another large section of the exam being explore and analyze data 20 to 25 percent all right this is profiling that data leveraging the xml endpoints seeing how we can use sql endpoints to query the lake house lots of fun different things so these are those main sections right so there's this is a big test there's a lot of coverage in here so it's very important that you do prepare for this exam that's what the idea is for me uh, offering you and making you aware of these different resources and of course these follow-up videos that we're going to be having where i'm going to pick and choose we're going to bounce around right um, remember this youtube thing is it's, it's just meant to kind of give you some quick tips and points and, and and ideas around this right if you really want to dive in you really want to dedicate the goal of this, obviously, is to get you to, you know, take a look at Cert XP. I really think you're going to find this as a valuable asset for passing the exam itself. So let's just do a quick little tour of those various elements that we just discussed, right? Over here, as I leave the PowerPoint itself, you can, you know, whatever your browser is of choice, if you just type in DP600, you're going to be brought to this very page right here, right? Microsoft Certified Fabric Analyst Engineer Associate. And there's a bunch of stuff on here, various links really to the things I was discussing, right? If we kind of scroll down, that's what you're gonna learn, the different items. And here is that preparation, right? You just click on this and it brings you right to this section. This is like that official Microsoft Learn, kind of the course, and you just go piece by piece. If you want it, you start right here. There are six units, roughly 22 minutes. We saw that from before, seven units in here. And you can see as you go into this, you go one by one. Here's a one minute introduction, five minute exploration. A lot of these are just text-based um that you can go through and then there's a little knowledge check and a summary and as you complete these you get check marks and stuff like that like i said if you're very very new to fabric this could be an interesting start for you um of course we have introduction to fabric as well for ourselves uh, and we have some classes right here on youtube as well so you just kind of kind of know where you're at in the course of things and i think that'll help point you in the right place but this is a nice introductory beginning once you feel comfortable about maybe you've done this learning maybe you've gone through our introduction of fabric you've gone through our different courses then we do have an exam right on this main page if you continue downwards you can see there's literally a practice for exam and boom you just click it and you're just thrown right into it this is the exam itself right it's just 50 questions it is random whenever you do this you can pick an answer check your answer and it does give you information it can point you to the official microsoft documentation but some of that is uh, a bit more formalized in how it's represented so of course um, it might not be the easiest to interpret but they do a great job with making sure everything is available to you within the documentation itself so this is definitely a step above the Microsoft Learn to Study Guide, or part of me, the prep course. Um, there is a study guide as well. You can see if we kind of keep scrolling down, there it is, the C600 study guide. And you're going to see this is just kind of in general. It has all the certifications on the left, but it's saying, hey, what's the exam about? What skills are measured? And this is what I was just kind of talking about. What are you going to learn? What do you need to know for this? 
Here's that plan implement. You can see the percentages, all the sub bullets. It's just reminding you and keeping track of all the different things you need to know and be aware of. And there's some resources down below. And lastly, that's gonna bring us to our on-demand learning, which I said, I think you're gonna love. We have some just generic kind of your classical um, learning process here where it's just beginning to end. You go through, you can see we have some introduction stuff. We have fab, uh, a live session we did with Austin here about kind of building an end-to-end -end solution. We have some other stuff here about data engineering, kind of going that route um, and some other items. And we're gonna be adding to this content all the time. Fabric is just constantly growing and going and moving. So we're gonna do our best to keep up to date with that despite its rapid pace. But the big thing we wanna showcase here, of course, is Cert XP. Right here, as a member of our on-demand learning, just on the left-hand side, you can click Cert XP, and boom, quite a few certifications already there. This is only going to continue to grow, but for this, we're focusing naturally on the DP600, so we can find that right down here. And when I hit continue, this is going to be the way you're going to experience this. You can see we have it categorized the same as we have with Microsoft plan, implement, and manage a solution for data analytics. It's right here. And you can see we have six different questions right away to go into it. And you can see there's various different sections going piece by piece by piece. So if I just hit continue, you can see it's going to go here. Here's my pathway right here on plan a, a data analytics environment, which is one sub bullet under this plan and implement. You can see all of these are going to be a pathway of questions that I'm going to be looking to take. So if I go in, we hit continue, here's that question. You can, of course, have an animation in here if you want, where it'll actually speak this out to you. Um, but you have the question right here. You need to sign a Fabric Administrative License for a short amount of time within your tenant. What service can you leverage with Microsoft Entre ID to allow for this just-in-time role permission that will expire after just a few hours? And you can see, you can kind of go through this process, choose an answer, and depending if you're correct or not, you get a description of this process, right? Oh man, I missed this question. It gives us as, you know, the answer should have been used privilege identity management, PIM, right? So we get the acronym and we have a little excerpt here from Austin himself describing why this is that correct answer, right? And you just kind of move through the motion. Here's the second question. There are a ton of items built into this as we look and as we explore, right? If we go kind of back to the kind of overall surface here, lots and lots and lots of content for you to experience. So that's the idea, right? We wanted to kind of, I wanted to bring this to your attention. Fabric is so very popular right now, kind of learning, understanding it, and of course, wanting to get certified, very understandable. So we here at Pragmatic Works want to assist you and help you on that journey. And that's what I'm gonna be doing myself in this series. I'm going to be trying to put out videos every week here for you so that we can pick and choose questions within these different sections. But like I said, we're going to be getting into workspaces. We're going to be getting into fabric. We're going to be creating pipelines. A lot of times I might have these things already created because it's about just understanding what this question is referring to. But so you get a deeper insights to it. But don't forget, all of this has pretty much already been done for you with Cert XP. So if you truly want to go the distance, you want to kind of have a little bit of fun, you can see us in the videos. We'll make sure we give those descriptive answers for you. Make sure you check that out on our on-demand learning, right? Learning.pragmaticworks.com, and you'll find that Cert XP option there for you on the left. I promise you're going to love it. But for now, you'll get a lightweight, bite-sized version of it as I'm going to be going through this series with you on YouTube. So thank you guys very much. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next one.